brand new reign of King Charles III, there's one thing that you don't want to do, and that is particularly upset our brand new majesty, the King, King Charles III. But seemingly, this particular former royal aide has done that. Who's to blame though? As ever, let me explain. Good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to have your company. Another beautiful day here, beautiful visage. I'm not, I'm talking about the one behind me, of course. <laughs> well, you look quite good, actually. Yes, you've slept well, I can see. <laughs> More than me, I think, you know, as I say, I don't mean to moan on, but the hay fever season has truly attacked, you know. And some days you wake up and you sound like a, a, a sort of box of rusty nails. It takes ages, doesn't it, to get going, to warm the voice up, you know. I know. Yes, I've tried. I, 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 all right, there's no need to be rude. Let's get back to your breaking roll story of the day. Now, what's interesting here is, as we know, uh, it has been said that the former royal aide to our late and wonderful Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, she had a very close relationship with Angela Kelly, perplexed many senior members of the monarchy inside because, you know, they didn't necessarily understand what they would necessarily have in common. Uh, as it's often cited in the paper, a former docker's daughter who basically rose to the ranks. I would suggest that Angela has been a very hard worker, very clever at manipulation, some might say, in making sure that she's seen in the right circles with the right people doing the right things. It's called hard work basically though and you don't rise to a position that she did without knowing things and knowing exactly how the psychology of people work. What's interesting is a story broke recently uh, via social media from Angela herself saying how she was leaving her beloved Windsor home after so many years to move closer to the Peak District and South Yorkshire to be nearer her family. The way that that story broke was almost like she was being booted out of Windsor. And then of course it emerged, did it not, that the King had very graciously bought a property for her to live in as per, per instructions by a late monarch that Angela be looked after in her retirement. A very generous kind thing to do and as i've said it's apparently that senior members of the british monarchy did not share the same affection allegedly for angela kelly she's also been an awarded an award which apparently is about to be pinned to her very soon but what's interesting are these pictures and they've angered many inside royal circles as you can imagine because these are very detailed pictures taken last sunday of angela packing up complete with mattress and all sorts of paraphernalia for the very final time leaving that windsor abode making sure that it's now become vacant for the next staff member to live in that's really what it's about you know people are not booted out the bottom line is the job stops and then you have to give up the grace and favour, apartment, cottage, room, whatever you've been given. It applies in hotels, wherever you are, in whichever job. But now senior royals want to know exactly who was close enough to be able to take such detailed pictures, as one can imagine. Not only that, they very swiftly sold them to a national newspaper. And once again, this kind of paints a very negative story, doesn't it, of Angela being booted out, quitting, leaving for the very final time. A post note to that also is we're not quite sure whether the King will indeed be the person awarding Angela her award when that comes around. It would, according to a very good source, mean that he does in fact share uh, the appreciation of the late monarch in doing so. Many people suggest this may fall to either Princess Anne or, of course, Prince William. Either way, it doesn't necessarily paint a good look for the former dedicated royal who gave so much of her time love, affection and energy to our monarch. Whichever way you look at it, we're all very grateful for what she did, but seemingly it does seem a little strange to leave on such a sour note. So whoever took these pictures have not painted Angela in the very best light. And if I were her, I'd be doing a little bit of investigation if it's needed. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.